Precision medicine is important in medicine in general. The concept of precision medicine has been launched by President Obama during his State of the Union recently and is actually highlighting the field to improve medical care in general all over the world. We strongly believe that also precision medicine will be the future in rhinology because our patients suffering from rhinitis, rhinosinusitis, functional as well as aesthetic nose surgery may benefit largely from the application of the principles of precision medicine in daily practice. Talking about precision medicine in chronic rhinosinusitis, we should realize that nowadays a significant percentage of patients with chronic rhinosinusitis are uncontrolled despite medical and or surgical treatment. And therefore we know nowadays that one third of the patients undergoing sinus surgery or being on long-term treatment with oral steroids, oral antibiotics and so on, remain uncontrolled despite maximal medical or surgical treatment. Therefore, there is the need to apply the principles of precision medicine into the patient population suffering from chronic rhinosinusitis. And this brings me then to the basic principles of precision medicine, which is actually the implementation of prediction of success of whatever treatment option that we may have, prevention of disease progression and even prevention of asthma when we talk about FES in sinusitis patients, participation of the patient at the time we make the therapeutic plan and position surgery versus medical treatment, and personalized care. Personalized care is actually the care that we provide to our patient based on the inflammatory endotype. And the inflammatory endotype relates to the underlying patho pathology that is responsible for the development of inflammation and symptoms. And therefore, we are nowadays investing a significant uh, degree of resources in finding out what mediators are crucial in order to be able to predict the success of novel biological treatments in our patients with chronic rhinosinusitis. Precision medicine means that you are trying to understand the pathomechanisms, not just the clinical uh, signs, like you have polyps, you have no polyps, but the pathomechanism, what drives the polyp growth, what drives the inflammation. Once you have that, for which you need biomarkers, you can go to predict outcome. You can exactly, uh, uh, eventually say, this patient has a high risk or low risk to develop asthma, to develop recurrence and finally you can evaluate new targets which are uh, linked to the pathomic mechanism which is um, disturbing the mucosal immunity. That is mostly type 2, we call it type 2 or Th2 uh, immune reactions, IL-5, IL-13, IgE, IL-4, all these are involved in that. A steroid would work on all of them a little bit. A targeted therapy like a monoclonal would be very specific on one of these or two of these targets and as we have seen in, in studies they open up a new um, uh, opportunity to interfere.